All right, so we're going to do a coconut ginger stir fry tonight. Stir fries are so awesome in this cookware. They make life really easy, cooking everything in one pot, quick and easy to go. So uh, we're going to do some garlic, a few cloves of garlic. We're going to chop them up. Don't forget when you're peeling your ginger to do that lovely trick with a spoon. And uh, just scrape the outside of the skin, and all the skin comes right off the ginger. It's easy to clean, easy to chop up. And ginger is such a great enhancement for stir fries. Really nice and fresh, and gives it a nice little bite. Ginger is such a great thing to cook with. So, uh, we're gonna get the variety of vegetables ready here. We've got some carrots, some broccoli, cauliflower, we have some red pepper. Uh, two chicken breasts I'm gonna cut up. So, we're gonna cut the chicken up, and uh, the chicken. I'm going to marinate with the, uh, the ginger, the garlic, and a little bit of sesame oil. So we're going to get that all ready to go. We let that sit in the fridge for about an hour and a half. That's going to let that uh, ginger and garlic infuse right into the meat there. I'm going to add a bit of salt and some yellow curry powder. We're going to mix all that together and that's going to really give it a nice little, uh, little zingy flavor. So preheat the pan, it's on a medium high heat. When the water beads, that's our sign to uh, be able to fry our meats without adding any additional oils into the pan. I put all the chicken around. Now I want to make sure that the chicken's going in nice and flat, that there's uh, every piece of meat is touching a bit of steel if we can. Press it all nice and flat. So I'm going to put the chicken in right away and the vegetables. So all these vegetables are a little bit harder, so they're not going to take as long to cook as the chicken. So we start with the chicken on the bottom and then we're going to cook that for a couple minutes until the whistle goes off. When the whistle starts going off, we have it on a medium high heat is going the first time we're going to stir everything. So the chicken is pretty much cooked here. We're going to give it a great stir up and this is going to let all the vegetables start to saute. Put the lid back on and still leaving it at the same temperature, wait for the steam to come out the vent. Once the steam starts coming out the vent the second time is we're going to add our sauces. So I'm going to put in some coconut milk, we're going to add some soya sauce, we're going to add some oyster sauce and a couple tablespoons of corn flour. I'm going to mix all that up. It's going to get kind of thick and pasty. So this is where we add the chicken broth till we get the right consistency and the dish is done. Serve some rice and that's a quick coconut stir fry with Chef Warren.